Uh, so movies brought to a screeching halt for the past two years, but now the summer blockbusters, oh, are they back? Yes, they are. It seems like this summer movie, movie buffs have gotten uh, just hit after hit after hit. And we ought to talk to some local film experts about all the great movies. And that's right, film experts. You are that's experts, right. that's right, all of you. That are, that are in theaters right now. Anyone else, they're not. We are. <laughs> you are, we know. So yeah, right. we, that's why we brought you in. They're the hosts of the podcast, The Cinema Guys. This morning, we're joined by Brad, Justin, and the Cinemaiden joins Ooh. us in the studio. Are we not using her real name? We're no. just saying just no, Cinemaiden. The Cinemaiden. Got it. Got it. The Cinemaiden. Okay. If I, like I had that. something like Cinemaiden, I would just go with that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I guess before we get into specific blockbusters for this for this summer, just everybody getting back into theaters. Mm. It's, it's yeah. so huge, and it's happening. It's yeah. finally kind of oh, yes. happening, yeah? yeah. Finally. Oh, yeah, and they're, they're Packed. They are very packed. packed. It yeah, has saw been Thor over the weekend too. Like you guys saw Thor? Yeah. I saw it too. Yeah, and what? Well, and during the pandemic, I, I did go to a theater once or twice to see, and I was pretty amazed at the amount of like work they're doing to make it like, hey, I don't have to talk to anyone, I don't have to touch, I don't see anyone. I right. can walk in, my popcorn's ready, and I can just sit down, and everyone's really far away. So yeah. it's nice. Yeah. And it's fun. I went to see Jurassic Park not that long ago with my son, and they, you know, all the movie stuff is back as far as, like, like they had a big Jeep that had the Jurassic yes. Park oh, logo. Yes. And people Science. were taking, you know, people were wearing their t-shirts. It was just fun. Yeah. So you guys mentioned Thor. So let's start yes. by talking about some of the big blockbusters. What are you loving this summer? Ooh. Top Gun, Top Gun Maverick. Yes. Oh, so good. It was it, the. I don't give out five stars very generously, and it was my only five star movie this it, year. It so. was the first movie in a while where I was like, "This, this is a summer, summer movie," and it yeah. was so, so perfect exciting. amount of nostalgia. Yeah. Very. My whole thing was it is was simple. It was a very simple yeah. story. I took my children, uh, seventh graders, and a bunch of their friends. And they all walked out the same way I did when I saw the original Top Gun. Like, I want to be a fighter pilot. Like, How does this work? Let's do it. But no, there was something about the simplicity of it because it was it was just these are the bad guys. Yep. We are the good guys. Yep. We're gonna go get yep. the bad guys. It wasn't geopolitical nope. right, right, this right, or yeah. that or whatever. We know exactly what we're doing. We're yeah, going up the hill, right. down the hill. Yes. We got the thing. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> we got the thing. We're gonna do the stuff, yeah. and then we're all gonna get and it. They did the exactly. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I right, think that yeah. was the perfect way to kick off the summer blockbusters because yes. it really got you fired up to be back in the theaters. And then we have things like Thor. You guys all saw yes. Thor of the weekend. What'd you think? It was very good. I think I enjoyed it more than... Uh, <laughs> it wasn't as good as Thor yeah, Ragnarok, like, to be okay. fair. Uh, so I think that's the, the problem. Like, Thor Ragnarok was so good. It, it was, was very, very good. So good. Uh, so it's not bad, in my opinion. Um, I thought it could have been a little better, yeah. um, but it was alright. It was good. It was, it was still it was so fun. I don't want to be a hater. I, mean, it's like, I feel bad. Everyone's like, it was great, but, but I, I wish I, I think you're right. The Ra Ragnarok it just it's such a it's like the, yeah. it oh, elevated it, because the the first two Thor movies are very I mean Kenneth Branagh yeah. directed right. the first yeah. Thor yeah, yeah. it's very yeah. Thor yes. you know what I mean and like these were totally different yeah you know, it was right. and to somebody who doesn't I mean I appreciate all the Marvel characters and all this stuff but I don't know the inside jokes like you do right. and I really I really enjoyed it but I'm it was glad. there were parts where I was like what just happened there? <laughs> <laughs> that's bizarre yeah. but I like it I think yeah, yeah. Russell yeah. Crowe nailed it I love yes. Russell Crowe in it I thought he was he, he was, was Zeus oh, oh he, he was Zeus, Zeus. Zeus. Yes. So he was Zeus he's, he's a, a great partner. and I won't spoil anything but at the end one of the little uh, <gasps> end clip scenes there's an actor I was like oh my gosh I'm so excited yeah. that did he's you, the yeah. you, you, know, you knew immediately who that was, right? Don't, okay, yes, I, don't, I can't don't, spoil. Don't do ruined don't spoil. I was like, no, my no, wife no. actually had walked out, and I, when she came back, I was like, you'll never guess who's going right. to be. Yeah, so that's movie. coming next. You know, that's a that's a great spoilers are a great. Um, Topic to touch on, I guess, for the podcast. Do yeah. you kind of warn people ahead yes. of time? Look, yes. we're we going it, all in. We call it ruinsies. Yeah, yeah. we don't. Well, say, from here on out, we have ruinsies. Here yeah. on out, we won't have ruinsies. But yeah, uh, I spoil yeah. everything when they get going. I'm like, hey, what about those? He's like, wait, yeah. you gotta wait, man. <laughs> yeah. You gotta wait. We have a point where there are no spoilers, and then point after where there are spoilers. Our podcast well, is Brad them. is the straight man who knows all the stuff, yeah. and we just hate everything that he yeah, likes, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And uh, and we just laugh at, and then we just bounce off each other. We just have fun with it. We only have about. Unfortunately, I could spend all day with you guys, but yes. we only have about 30 okay. seconds left. 30 so seconds. each one of you give us a movie that you're excited that comes out this summer, and then we'll tell people where to find you. Yeah. Uh, probably Nope is the one <gasps> I'm most I'm excited so scared for. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Um, I would be Bullet Train. I'm really excited yeah. about that. Brad Pitt. Awesome. Yes, Brad Pitt. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the new Olivia Wilde movie, uh, some Darling, uh, Don't Call Me Darling, I think is what it's called. I don't know that. Um, it's uh, Harry Styles and uh, Florence Pugh. It's Olivia Wilde yeah. movie. I'm very oh, excited. Oh, Lord, if it's Harry it's Styles, the end I'll, of the be, summer. I'll be taking my daughter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love Jordan Peele, so nope. Yeah. But I'm, yes. it's the, the ads are already terrifying. Right? Yeah. It's so the previews, 
Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys. Where can hey. we find your podcast? Uh, you can find anywhere you get a podcast. I mean, any podcatcher, or just go to wearethecinemaguys.com, and not, we have links to everything there. I'm so glad he knows and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really, I don't know. It's good. Yeah, I like that around. Right. Nice. Well, thank you. It's and enjoy right. the rest of your summer. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us.